Demon hunters, warring gods, and forgotten worlds await with TNM Comics. Click the links below to enter their fantastical realm. Hi, I'm Diva from Musical Hell, and I know the score. In the interest of catching up on my movie musicals, I sat down recently to watch the 2017 indie film adaptation of Hello Again, and, well, that was a thing that certainly happened. Yeah, this is an odd movie, and not just because the score is by Michael John Lacusa, the composer of choice for people who think Stephen Sondheim is too mainstream. Based on the early 20th century play La Ronde by Arthur Schnitzler, Hello Again isn't a linear story, but a string of liaisons between a variety of characters. Each scene takes place between two people, one of whom appeared in the previous encounter and one who will participate in the next one, creating an interlocking series of relationships. Confused? You won't be. Oh, that's not all. See, Schnitzler's main focus was demonstrating the moral hypocrisy of 1900s Viennese society and also the spread of syphilis. But La Chiusa adds a couple of different wrinkles, first by putting some homoerotic encounters into the mix, and then by scattering the scenarios across different time periods, making it really ambiguous as to what on earth we're seeing. Reincarnations of lost souls? An array of fantasies spun by a gender and possibly time-bending prostitute? Or just an excuse to have fun with period music styles? Whatever the reason, La Chiusa does make the most of the wide range of genres suggested by the settings. While a lot of the music has a free-flowing modern classical feel to it, different nuances crop up in each scene. Both I Got a Little Time and In Some Other Life have a jazzy aspect, but the former is in a swing mood fitting the 1940s setting, while the latter has a more contemporary edge for the 1960s. I should have met you in some other life. I should have met you in some other time. Would have been sweeter kissing you. Meanwhile, the 1970s segment includes a variety of music from that era, from a driving disco pulse to prog rock to a subdued folk acoustic style. There's something wrong, there's something wrong, there's something wrong, when all I want is somewhere safe, anywhere, anywhere safe. 1912 scene has a much more lyrical feel. It's quite a lovely piece, even if it doesn't quite make you forget that it's about a man getting plastered and trying to get a quickie in before the Titanic sinks. I am not making that up. We only have a little time. We, we, we have to spend it wisely. Then there's Beyond the Moon, the official original song for the movie that puts Audra McDonald in full Believe era share mode. While it's clear we're not meant to take this song too seriously as it's a satire of overproduced dance pop, even the abundant auto-tune and kitschy video can't completely obscure the magnificence of McDonald's instrument. Beyond the moon. For a real example of what Queen Audra can do, listen to The Mistress of the Senator, which is a magnificent showcase for her vocal versatility and range. I can play the mistress of the senator, stash me in a comfortable high rise that's convenient to the hill. My favorite song in the score would have to be Tom, performed by Rumor Willis as a discontented 1950s housewife. The dark bass highlights the character's forbidden desire, and the concluding verse encompasses the musical's overarching theme of longing and transience. What's better is what would have been what's sweet Hello 
hello again is a bit off-putting in places. A lot of the male characters look similar, so it's easy to confuse them, and the cycle of neat, hook-up, unsatisfactory parting wears thin after several iterations. The movie is worth seeing for its unusual form and some excellent performances by McDonald, Willis, and Jenna Ushkovitz. Give it a slot on your Netflix queue and enjoy the weird. I'm Diva, I know the score, and now, so do you. Hello.